Well, no real surprise that the Texas court sided with Barbers Hill ISD over suspending the student over having uh, dreadlocks. Uh, they don't like that his dreadlocks are long when they're down, but um, conform to school rules when they're put up. Body will be back here, and he's going to try it right. For Daryl and Darisha George, Thursday marks a battle loss. Their hope to see 18-year-old Daryl return to class as normal at Barbers Hill ISD won't happen. Daryl made this statement and told me this straight up with tears in his eyes. All because of my hair. Chambers County Judge. Ch yeah, there is no real issue that this student is posing by having his hair put up. It's no different than a... Uh, a female student putting their hair up in like a ponytail or a bun or something or braids or whatever. Chap Kane had to decide, does the Crown Act, a law prohibiting race-based hair discrimination, render Barber Hill's male dress policy for concerning hair length unlawful? Immediately after closing statements, the judge sided with the district. Bad people are using a good law in a bad way, and that's what's happening. George was suspended by the district when he wouldn't cut his hair to fall in line with the Barbers Hill ISD grooming policy, which says male students, when let down, hair reaches the t-shirt collar, extends past the eyebrows or earlobes. In a statement, BHISD superintendent... Though it, it's really messed up when a school can force people to cut their hair. Greg Poole said the Texas legal system has validated our position that the district's dress code does not violate the Crown Act and that the Crown Act does not give students unlimited self-expression. During testimony... Right, it, I mean it's no surprise that a racist person would be happy that a racist court judge has ruled in it was revealed the Crown Act doesn't explicitly include hair length in the wording. However, during testimony, witnesses said it was implied as a certain length of hair is needed to achieve the protected styles. Like locks, braids, and twists, it was the legislature. Yeah, usually a lot of dreadlocks are long, and a lot of people who sport dreadlocks enjoy them being of a good length usually going past their ears or something. So, yeah, the length of the dreadlocks should also be protected via the Crown Act. There's intent. The school district is hell-bent on finding a loophole. They want to violate the spirit of the law. I articulated on the stand what the legislative intent behind it was. The district had been accused of racism due to its male grooming policies since the district policy calls for conformity. To that, the superintendent said, falsely claiming racism is worse than racism and undermines efforts to address actions that violate constitutionally protected rights. And Daryl and his mother... No, no. Falsely claiming racism is not the same as being racist. Like actually discriminating towards people is not the same as, you know, somebody accusing you of being discriminatory. It's just, no, it's just not the same. Other left immediately after the judge decided the decision, but his attorney, but they did want to thank everyone for support, and his attorney says she will appeal and has already filed a separate federal 